it's only you, Jimmy. Have you got the Battenberg? Couldn't find any, da. But I got some red velvet instead. Jimmy, this isn't a time for experimenting, son. Battenberg, it's got to be the Battenberg. It's your granddad's favourite. Don't think it'll matter, da. It's only granddad. Only your granddad, Jimmy. <laughs> that guy doesn't forget things. He'll remember it like an old rash that doesn't go away. He's an old bastard, yeah, man, Jimmy. He just lives to torment. Wants to remind me of all my failures. Jimmy, do you know remember the missing Bogro incident at Christmas 2006? That was 50. 15 years ago and he still talks about it. But da, you tried to make out we were better in the environment by suggesting we wipe our arse with beach towels. I panicked. Rather than just admit that we forgot to buy toilet paper. Son, I'm no prepared to be subjected to any more of your granddad's patter about that towel incident. He's the ultimate wind-up merchant. Granddad's nice. I'm sure you'll be alright. He's got awful patter, son. But you've been too young to see it before. He's good like that. Sneaky. But guess what, son? This Christmas, you're almost a man. So don't be surprised if I throw you under the wolves and feed you to the bus to save myself. But Dad... Well, if that doesn't suit you, I guess you better not return here until that Battenberg's acquired, son. <sighs> Little stock take. Jimmy, I'm not playing about here. You better show me that bastard in Battenberg. Duh. Son, I really wish I could make this a magical Christmas for you. I really do. If your granddad wasn't such a... If I wasn't such a... Granddad's here. A fantastic driver, eh? Huh? East Coast accent. Because you've drove all the way from Musselburgh, like, eh, Ken? And that's how they all soon do their leg, like, eh, innit? Christ, it's like watching you youth theatre doing sunshine on Leith all over again. <laughs> Don't laugh. Come along, Jimmy. Manners, Jimmy. Ah, you tell him that. He can be a right wee dick sometimes. Sorry. Onion ring? No, I'm all right for savoury the new son. You wouldn't have something a wee bit sweet, would you? Mince pie? Hmm. Battenberg. We would have had it for you, Dad, but I'm going to hold my hand up and pass full responsibility over to Jimmy for forgetting to buy it and ruining Christmas. Sorry, Grandad. Got some red velvet though if you'd like to try some. <sighs> Listen, Dad, I know it's illegal to smack his bottom now, but there's a hose out back there we can use that to spray some sense into him. What do you say? Oh, doesn't that sound like a lovely treat? That sounds good, kiddo. <laughs> you know, I've been used to the same old things all the time. It's good that you youngins keep us up to date with the new trends now and again. Anytime, Granda. Anytime, Granda. Slice me up a plate as well, son. I only got two slices. We well, can cut into two then. Oh, this is fantastic, son. You know, I can't remember the last time I had cake that tastes so good. Anything else you've not had in a while? A hole. <laughs> Sorry? Red velvet. Red velvet in the company of my boy at Christmas. That's all I need. I think I may have misheard you there, Pappy. You said boys, right? As in, your boys, me and Jimmy. Boys with a Z. Boys is spelt with an S, da. Shut it, Jimmy. Listen, don't you two be getting at each other like that. It's Christmas, your granddad loves you both. Granda loves us both. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll be for me. It's been a pleasure, Jimmy. We only just got here. I guess we are a wee bit cramped for space, though. I mean, I'd offer you Jimmy's bed, but I've no the chance to change his crusty sheets yet. I'm off to see your sister and baby Angie in her West End townhouse. And our man Robert said to me if I get there before five, he's going to take me out for a spin in his new Merc. Eh? <laughs> Alright, you didn't think I was going to get away without giving you a wee something for Christmas, did you? Right, hold out your horns, Jimmy. There you go. Oh, wow. Thanks, Grandad. Piss off, Jimmy. Look. Here you go, have a couple of pints on me, son. Thanks, Grandad! <laughs> hey, you didn't think I'd forgot about you all, did you? Oh, you shouldn't have done. Oh, you haven't opened it yet. Yeah. Go on, open it up. <laughs> Here you go, that's for Christmas 2006, you dirty towel wiping bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, come on, it's funny. He's getting more creative with how he brings it up each year. Why do you embarrass me like that, Jimmy? Embarrass you, you embarrass me! Oh, I can't believe you've done that. Oh, God, Jimmy. I was never 
Merry Christmas, fans. <laughs> <laughs>